I'm Mariah Mayhots. I'm a nurse navigator with the Neuro Oncology Group at Providence St. John's, and I'm going to be talking to you guys today about taking care of your loved one who may be incontinent or may have some weaknesses and need assistance um, using the restroom in a laying down position. Um, so the first thing we're going to talk about is how to roll and best position your loved one when you are having to manage any incontinence. So we are going to be log rolling. It's a little bit different. I know most people think about when they're changing, um, thinking about changing a small child or a baby. Um, this is going to be different with an adult. Um, we're going to be rolling them side to side to help not only them, but help yourself um, and make sure you're staying safe as a caregiver as well. Um, so the most ideal thing is if you have a second person to help you with your loved one, to be able to assist and hold your loved one on one side. Um, but it, it is able to be done um, by yourself. If your loved one has one side that might be weaker than the other, it's always best to roll them with their dominant side on the top first. So let's say that your loved one um, has their left side dominant, you are gonna wanna roll them onto their right side so that way they can use their left side to help grab any railings on the side, any cushions to help hold them in position. So we're gonna demonstrate this. Um, we have our loved one here who needs to be changed and we are going to take their left arm over their right side and if we can move their left leg over and then we would help them just roll onto their side. If they again have their left side dominant, they can help reach for anything on this right side to hold them in place. And this gives you full access to change a brief, place a bedpan, roll anything dirty out from underneath, um, place anything new and get as much clean on one side um, before you can move to the second side. It's always important to work side to side so you're not having to roll back and forth several times. This helps again save you and also keeps your loved one as comfortable as possible during changing. Um, so we would roll back down nice and slowly. So if we are rolling back towards ourselves, um, you can either have them reach towards you, again, grab a railing on this side, or if you have a sheet underneath, you can use that to help roll get them in position, and then drop this sheet. Then you again have full access to pull anything dirty out from this side, pull anything through that's clean, and then roll them safely and gently back down flat. So log rolling is great because it is something that you can do by yourself. You don't need to have additional people to help assist you. The one thing, again, as a caregiver, we want to make sure that you're staying safe to keep your loved one safe. So always make sure that when you are rolling, you have your feet planted at a good width apart, shoulder width apart, and you are using your legs to push or your legs to pull and not hinging so much and using your lower back. That's going to save you and help in the long run be able to take care of your loved one. So when we're changing our loved one, we wanna make sure that we have as many supplies that we're gonna need ready. So that way, once we have them in position, we can do as much as possible, as effectively as possible. And again, saving them stress and you any pain on your back. Um, so for example, if your loved one is in a brief and we know we're gonna be changing them to a new brief, um, if you again have a sheet, a roll pad, a chuck, underneath of them. You can get all of this ready beforehand by placing it over the top, seeing which position you're going to want it in. And again, you'll have the new brief ready. Position this where you're going to want it on your loved one, within the chucks pad, within the sheet. That way it's ready to go. And what we can do is we will roll these up together so that way when we place them, we can neatly roll them apart. And then we can set this to the side so it's ready to use when we are. So again, our loved one is gonna be able to roll best onto their right side. So we are gonna plant and we are going to make sure the brief is ready and undone. And then for changing purposes, if they need to be wiped, you always want to make sure when you're wiping, 
especially for our female loved ones, that we are wiping front to back. We want to make sure that we're wiping everything away from the urethra and down towards the dirty. Only use one wipe once. Um, a lot of supplies you can get through insurance, through your care providers. So definitely make sure that if you're having any questions or any troubles getting supplies that you might need at home to get in touch with your care team because we're here to help. We want to make sure that you guys have the supplies that you need to best take care of your loved ones at home. And that's an extension through us. So anything we can do to help any questions, please, please reach out to us. So again, we're going to use one wipe each. Now that our loved one is nice and clean, we're going to roll up the dirty free. And now we're going to get ready to roll. And we already have all of our clean stuff ready. So we are going to one, two, three, and roll on to the side. And now we have dirty underneath of us. We are gonna roll up our dirty linens so they're no longer underneath. If there's any wiping, if your loved one had a bowel movement, you would then be able to wipe at this time. If you need to apply any creams for any skin breakdown, any um, wound dressings, this would be a great position to do that as well. So now that we have a clean surface underneath of us, all of our dirty is pushed over. We can grab our already clean supplies and to put them tucked nice and neat underneath of our dirty. Now we've already positioned everything where we want it for our loved one. So when we gently roll them back over, all of our new brief and new pad underneath is gonna be in the right spot. We do this because as you will see here, we're gonna roll our loved one back over towards us. One, two, three. Now we have dirty here that can be pulled out right away. And our clean stuff is already ready on the other side. So you're not having to run around to the other side or roll them around. Everything is here ready, nice and neat to pull out for them. And we'll gently lay them back here. So now we have all of our clean supplies under our loved one and we are going to make sure that we fasten our brief. Um, now that everything's in place, you'll pull it up in the proper positioning and you will have ties on each side to attach. And once our brief is in place, again, if you have a sheet, a chucks pad, anything underneath, um, not only to help catch any potential messes that might happen outside of the brief, but also just for assistance and being able to roll your loved one, you can slide them up using that sheet or chucks pad as well. Um, again, using good posture, legs planted and sliding, pushing with your legs, not pulling with your back. And then once your loved one is nice and clean and changed, it's always really important, especially if their mobility is very limited and they are in bed most of the time, to be rotating which sides they're laying on to avoid any sort of skin breakdown. If they are incontinent and in a brief, um, having that moisture puts them at a risk for that skin breakdown in general. So we want to make sure that we're alternating sides that they're laying on, getting them off of their lower back, their tailbone area, because that's one of the most common places for skin breakdown. So we can do that by adding a pillow. Again, using our wonderful log roll technique, you can go one, two, three, and it doesn't even have to be very high if you lift them because we are just gonna tuck this pillow in nice and gently under their hips and just give them a little bit of a tilt off of that tailbone directly. And so then once they're nice and comfortable, we can put their blanket back on they are nice and ready to rest. Now that we've talked about ways to roll our loved one and to change them, let's talk about some ways to manage incontinence because there are several ways that we can do this um, at home. 
So first, um, if your loved one is does know when they do need to use the restroom, but their mobility might be a little bit limited, um, there are options to where they would still be possibly in a brief. Um, that way, if they do have any episodes of incontinence, it is caught, but you can use things like a bedpan or a urinal um, to help assist in this. So urinals come both for males and also for females um, that can attach a little closer for it to be easier for them to use to urinate. Um, these are great for at home. Again, if your loved one is able to communicate to you when they do need to use the restroom, but it might be difficult to get them to the bathroom quickly, or let's say it's overnight and they're a little tired so it's harder to get them out of bed, urinals can be a great use for that and it also helps keep them dry. Um, again, any supplies that you might be having difficulty finding or getting, please contact your healthcare team and we can help assist in getting them through insurance or another supply company. The other device that you can use is a bedpan. This would be if a patient, again, a female patient needs to use the restroom um, and you don't have a urinal or needs to have a bowel movement and they're in bed, again, with limited mobility, you can put a bedpan under. The urinal you would just use in the general fashion. Um, men, you would put the penis in and hold it and make sure that it doesn't splash or doesn't spray. And females, you would hold up against the urethra to make sure that everything goes in. For a bedpan, we will again use our wonderful log roll technique to roll our loved one to put them on the bedpan. You always want to make sure the flat side is on their tailbone. So that way, this is the flat, more comfortable side. And you can remember this, just think if you're laying, you don't want a thin, sharp edge kind of digging into your tailbone. So the, sh the flat, nice, soft edge is where your, their tailbone will be. We will again use our log roll technique to lift our loved one. and we will place our bedpan. You can leave them comfortably on there. If your loved one is in a hospital bed at home or any sort of inclining bed, sometimes they might find it a little bit easier to sit up um, while they are using a bedpan. It is a little more similar to sitting on an actual toilet or a bedside commode um, and easier for them to go. Once they're done, you will again log roll very gently and pull the bedpan back out from underneath. Again, if you have a second person to help you with this, that's always really great because they can help to hold while you're log rolling or help pull the bedpan without anything moving around. Um, but it is doable with one person if you use the log roll technique. If your loved one has significant limited mobility or they're not able to communicate when they need to use the restroom, most likely there will be more episodes of incontinence and a bedpan or a urinal aren't gonna be options to use for them. So in that case, we've already talked a lot about briefs and chuck pads. Um, so again, briefs come in all different shapes and sizes. There's ones that have winged edges to be able to attach side to side. There are pull-up briefs um, and those ones are able to rip at the sides to be able to take them off easier. Um, those ones generally are used better for patients that have a little bit more mobility, who they're able to slide up. They might be able to lift their hips off the bed for you to pull a brief up. Generally, the winged briefs are the ones that we see the most common um, as they're easy to detach and attach and again use in that log roll position. Chucks pads, sheets, um, there are cloth chucks pads like these ones. There are also disposable ones that would just get thrown away with the brief. Um, anything that works, again, this is there for you as the caregiver to help you safely roll your loved one or be able to catch anything that might miss outside of a brief. Um, so both of these things are the most commonly used um, and they, again, help facilitate with the log rolling, can ease moving the, your loved one up in bed. Um, and again, any of these can be purchased with using insurance, so let your team know if you do need assistance with that. So a newer way for incontinence care for our loved ones at home is with a device called a peer wick. This is a device that you can place um, primarily for female patients, but it can be used for males as well. Um, around 
the genitalia. It sits directly in front. And this white piece is an absorb absorption pad. So it sits white piece to the genitalia and then connects to a hose, which connects to a suction canister. This will ensure that anytime that your loved one does go to the bathroom, um, urinates, that it gets absorbed through the pure wick. Again, eliminating that moisture that might be there that would put them at risk for skin breakdown, irritation, um, just generally being uncomfortable sitting in any sort of wet brief. This is something, again, that is available through insurances. Um, it can also be purchased not with insurance as well. Um, but definitely talk to your healthcare team. This is something we found patients find beneficial um, to have at home as it is something primarily seen in the hospital, um, but it is an option for home. So generally we use this for our female loved ones who are incontinent at home as an option as with a brief or an alternative to a brief. It can be used with males too, which we will also demonstrate. And so for our male loved ones who are incontinent and not able to let us know when they do need to use the restroom, we again have the Pure Wick as an option for them. Similar to our female loved ones, this would get placed in front of the genitalia to absorb any urine that does come out to avoid it going in the brief, causing that skin breakdown and skin irritation. Um, so for our male patients, due to placement and it staying in the right spot, um, the absorption can be affected, so it might not be as useful with our female loved ones, but it is an option for our male loved ones. Another option for our male loved ones is something called a condom catheter. So this goes on over the genitalia. It's a very sticky piece of plastic and would go on over the genitalia and again, because it's sticky, it's going to stay in place. And this would attach to tubing as well and connect to a Foley bag, a leg bag to drain any urine. So this is a better option for our male loved ones because it will stay in place over the genitalia and the urine will go directly through the tube into a bag. This again eliminates the moisture, the uncomfortableness for our loved ones, and also helps to make sure that we're preventing any skin breakdown. Two things I do wanna to touch on. Um, if your loved one is on any sort of oral chemotherapies or even IV chemotherapies that they are still coming into the clinic or the office for, it's very important to be mindful of that when you are performing any sort of incontinence care. Um, this also goes for any bodily fluids. So if they're nauseous and they have vomited, um, if they are having significant night sweats and the sheets need change, um, but primarily for the incontinence and changing, um, it is that chemos can be excreted through bodily fluids. So just to make sure that you are being mindful for yourself, um, you can use gloves when you're changing your loved one to not only protect just from the body fluids in general, but also especially if they are on a chemotherapy as the chemotherapy can be excreted through the body fluids. So if, again, if you need any assistance getting gloves, um, they're available generally at department stores, Target, CVS, healthcare stores. But if you need any assistance, please get in touch with your healthcare team because we can help provide them for you or get them through insurance. Um, another thing I wanted to touch on with skin breakdown and wound care is if there's ever any question about skin breaking down, if something looks just not right um, or a little bit abnormal um, from the last time that you were changing your loved one, definitely get in touch with your care team. The best way to prevent skin breakdown, again, like we talked about, is to be repositioning and turning them from side to side. But if they are in a laying position, it, sometimes it's almost inevitable that that thin skin on their tailbone might get a little red, a little sore. Um, let us know. We can look into home care options. We can look into wound care options, prescribe or recommend any creams or ointments that may be needed. So always keep in touch with your healthcare team. We are here to make sure that you are taken care of at home so you can take care of your loved one. 
Um, we are all part of the team, no matter whether we're seeing you virtually or in person. Um, we always want to be there. And if there's any questions that you guys have, we're here to answer them.